This is a flight controller. This is a DYS uh, F4 version 2 flight control board. And the accelerometer, which is right here, isn't working on this. Not at all. So, um, well, it wasn't working. And then what we did is we tried to reflow it. And it started working a little bit, but it was moving really slow. So what this does is on a UAV, on a drone, on a multi-rotor, whatever you want to call it, maybe let's not call them drones, right? Uh, the accelerometer helps keep everything balanced, especially like if you're using angle mode or whatever, you can, uh, you'll need that, let's say, right? So anyways, it's not working. Over here is another board we have and it was burnt out for some other reason, but I'm assuming that the accelerometer was okay on this one. It doesn't actually work for me to plug it in. So what I am going to do today is try my hand at desoldering this. So this is a uh, QFN. It's a, I was gonna say it's a BGA, but it's not a BGA. It's just a QFN, the uh, uh, quad flat pack, no pins, right? So the pins are they're not even pins, but they're just little pads underneath the chip here. So I'm going to try pulling that off, clean it all up, replace it with this one. What I'm going to try is, uh, first I'm going to remove this one, and this is some... Uh, fiberglass. I'm going to try to use this as a heat sink so I don't burn the table up. Should work okay. If not, I have some other things that will work. I'll put different tweezers out here. Seeing some stuff over here, sizzle. Leftover flux. There we go. So that was all right. That came off pretty nice. See if you can see this in the camera here. This is going to be the tricky part. 
So you can see just barely in the top right hand corner here is the, the dot for, for pin 1. So I need to remember that top right closest to the ARM processor. So it does look like I ripped off one pad here, and if, oh, there it is. But that's okay, because this, this board here, this board here is crap. But you can see right here in the top there, there's the pad, so that'll come off, no problem. Well, I think I got it cleaned off and prepped about the best that I can. It seems like there's not very much there on the pads, uh, but I guess we'll find out. My hopes are that this is going to self-center itself. There we go. Whoa, that's no good. Hmm. Seems to be stuck. It looks... Well, everything's hot. It looks pretty centered. I'm a little worried it might be off to my right here a little bit. So what do you think? It seems... There, at least, you know, enough pins are stuck down for it to hold it still. Let's get it cleaned up.
Well, I think it's about as good as I'm gonna get it, so <laughs> plug it in. Check out beta flight. All open and ready. Down here we have the board. Let's get a cable. <sighs> Alright. Okay, we have lights. Holy crap. There it is. That's it. <laughs> Job done. Uh, this wasn't working at all before we reflowed it and then the motion here. Right? So that's obviously what it's supposed to do. I was moving it before, after, well, when we first had it, it wouldn't work at all. We reflowed it a little bit. My suspicion is we might have just been able to fix it by reflowing a little bit more. But, uh, it would kind of move a little bit, really sluggishly, but now, top notch, working perfectly. So there you have it. There is uh, re-soldering on QFN. Uh, this is the MCU 6000 uh, kind of standard issue uh, gyro accelerometer. <laughs> uh I think that this is pretty cool. If you watch any of my other videos, I I wouldn't say I'm new to this. I've been soldering things since I was a little kid and doing this, but it is the first time that I have actually desoldered a QFN package and resoldered it, basically repaired it. You know, repaired uh, a thing like this. I mean, it's not a BGA, but you know, it's it's not it's not through whole resistors, so. I'm pretty thrilled. Hopefully you found that useful and um, maybe it'll give you the incentive to, to give it a shot yourself. Thanks for watching.